It's come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep, our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep, our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. No matter how much you maybe sin or do wrong, you'll still be just as righteous as Jesus. Amen. All you have to do is just make sure that you're conscious of it and continue to grow in that. Hallelujah. Amen. Change things with your words. Take advantage of the anointing. Your primary assignment. These and much more coming to you this month on your favorite devotional program. Always remember that the story isn't complete until you won. Reaching you from Texas in the United States of America, we deliver to you life-changing messages as shared by Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita throughout the month of June. That's right. We're coming to you all the way from Texas in this month of June, so you don't want to miss any day. Join our host Chris and Anna Maria. As they take you through the devotional this month, all the mistakes that you may make in the future, it's already been charged to the account、mm, of Jesus Christ.、Yeah. Experience the word in a whole new way. Rhapsody of realities. Hello and welcome once again to Rhapsody of Realities, your number one daily devotional. We're coming to you all the way from Texas in the United States, the Lone Star State. Hallelujah. Amen. Today on set we have here with us Odessa. Welcome, Odessa. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Odessa, welcome. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we have a very, very exciting announcement for you all. Guess what's happening here in August? What is it? Well, Pastor Chris is coming with the Higher Life Conference here at the Berry Center in Houston, Texas. Hallelujah! I'm very excited. He's bringing the anointing. So, grab whoever you can. Start inviting friends and family. He will be here August third, the fourth, and the fifth. So bring everyone you can. I know I'm. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited, and I know the United States is excited because it's going to experience a major change. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know another exciting thing that's happening in August. What is it? The very first ever healing school with Pastor Chris in our northern neighboring country of Canada.、Hallelujah. Amen. There are going to be so many miracles and healings taking place for three weeks. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris will be ministering miracles and healings. Hallelujah. Praise、so、the Lord. For three weeks. People who are attending the school can experience miracles and healings. It's going to be an avalanche of testimonies.、Hallelujah. Praise the Lord! So, if you know anyone who needs a healing or miracle, I suggest that you get them registered right away for the healing school with Pastor Chris. Amen. Today is Saturday, June ninth, and Pastor Chris will be sharing with us righteousness by faith.、Mm. Hallelujah! Amen. Before we delve into today's topic, we're going to take a short break and come right back with more of God's word. Is a whole new experience with God's Word contained in Rhapsody of Realities from Texas in the United States of America. Howdy and welcome to the United States of America. Take giant strides with the Word this June with your favorite daily devotional, Rhapsody of Realities. Stay tuned. As the sun rises, a new day is born. A new opportunity given, an opening to make a change, a chance to make it better. Because our lives are defined by our choices. Every day with Rhapsody of Realities counts in making that great future. Get your June edition of Rhapsody of Realities today. Call now to place your order. Or order online 
at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. What if what I desire, I already have? And my dreams are not as impossible. What if what I want is not what I need? And there is more in me that I'm yet to discover. Can I trust God enough to lead me, to guide me, to show me who I really am? Get Rhapsody of Realities and get all the answers you need. Start placing your orders now. Call the numbers showing on your screen or visit our website, www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back. Today, Pastor Chris is sharing with us righteousness by faith. The opening scripture is from Romans 10, 1 through 3. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved for I bear them record that they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Chris says, The Apostle Paul in his epistle to the Romans decried the spiritual condition of the Jews, chiding them for being ignorant of God's righteousness. This, sadly, is the situation with many in the church today. Being ignorant of God's righteousness, they go about trying to establish their own righteousness. And you see, that's where we go wrong, trying to establish their own righteous, righteousness mm -hmm. when God has already given us righteousness to begin with. Hallelujah, that's right. You know, from the very first day that you become born again, a new creation, you're made as righteous as Jesus himself. Amen. Hallelujah. And nothing can take that away from you. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, no matter how much you maybe sin or do wrong, you'll still be just as righteous as Jesus. Amen. All you have to do is just make sure that you're conscious of it and continue to grow in that. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Chris says in Isaiah 64 and 6, it shows us the futility of self-righteousness. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as a filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf. Wow, this word, when we really read it and we really get what it means, it brings so much life into us. Mm, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you won't get very far with self-righteousness, but being born again and in God's righteousness, you can succeed in anything. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Chris continues to say, in Philippians through 9, the Apostle Paul shows us to embrace the righteousness, which is by faith in Christ Jesus, that I may win Christ and be found in Him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ. This righteousness, which is of God by faith. It's just amazing how beautiful that sounds, you know, that and we will be found in him not having our own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, which, you know, referring back to what you said earlier, that we do have the righteousness of Christ, and no matter what we do, we will always be as righteous as him. Mm, hallelujah, very true, because, you know, this is how we should be, just laying everything aside for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris continues to say, There is a righteousness of God that's based on the law, but now a righteousness from God by faith in Christ Jesus has been manifested. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Praise God. It continues, This is a special kind of righteousness, which communicates the nature of God and makes a man that has been a sinner to be completely transformed from the inside out. You know, and as we continue to read and study, we are transformed from the inside out. And I thank God that He gives us, you know, the liberty and the righteousness and the grace of this life. Mm, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's very true, you know, because Pastor Chris says it's a special kind of righteousness which communicates the nature of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That means that us, we are communicating the nature of God by being righteous, by being born again. Everything that we do, you know, it should be according with the Word of God. It should be in sync with the Word of God. Hallelujah. Praise and that's how we'll communicate God through us. Hallelujah. Because people should be able to see Jesus in our eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We will take a short break, so don't go anywhere. We will be right back with more of the Rhapsody of Realities, your daily devotional. Mm -hmm. 